Hey, Fritz, how you doing? Really good. Um, to introduce yourself, tell us where you come from, because you come from a history of, um, well, you have a good history. You know, you have, you're, you're a doctor, you worked in drug treatments, all that. Just kind of share a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Fritz Miller. I'm a physician. I worked in the Eastern Oregon Psychiatric Center for 21 years. I also spent a little bit of time in the Eastern Oregon Correctional Institute helping in that program. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I retired, then I got into EFT and then faster EFT. Mm -hmm. And so you, you've been here with us for the last two weeks and yes. you're, you're learning the faster T addiction protocols. Um, tell us what you've noticed and, and what, what do you notice here? What are we doing? Well, here? What I notice is that people have been in here for quite a while and they've been through many treatment programs. So several, one person was even through 10 treatment programs and got no results and then when they come here we find out they're still addicted and through the faster addiction protocol we, f we can fairly easily get them off of their addiction mm -hmm. by working with them using the tapping methods and, and some of the methods that you, you've developed. Mm -hmm. but, and so, you know, you say, you know, of course, people listen to this, you, you get them off the addiction, you know, and, and how do we know that? How do you know that? You know, you, what, how do you measure that they're off? Well, there's three ways. One, you, you ask them to imagine that they're uh, using the substance and they, they will say, yes, I'd love the substance, or they'll say, no, I don't want it. Or you have them physically use the uh, methods that they used for the substance. For example, a person could take an imaginary beer and go like this, and, and if they enjoy it, then they're still addicted, but if, they, if it causes no problems for them, they're not addicted. And then what we do is the, we show them, uh, for example, a bottle of beer, and if, if they have no uh, association to it, if they think it's horrible and awful, then, then the addiction has gone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, of course, you know, we've seen a lot of individuals, especially the young guys who hadn't had fast repeat sessions, you know, you see we bring them in and there's no drugs here. And some of them yeah. hadn't used drugs in months or even a year. And of course, when we say think about the drug, remember getting high, physically see the muscle memory and also the visual memory yes. seeing the drug. And so uh, usually, if you have an addiction, it'll stir up the, the feelings. Yes. You know, it's like if you love cake and you see cake, you probably want to eat cake. Yes. All right. So, so, so what do you see that the, the, the key that Faster Tea is doing? Or what's the magic here? What's, how do we get the results, basically? Well, we just, we just worked with an individual and he loved beer. And the reason he loved beer was that his father gave him some beer when he was five, five or six years old and he loved his father. So his father passed away, and so every time he drank the beer, he received the love mm -hmm. that his father had given him because the love was linked to the beer. Now, right. now beer has no love in it, but he he put that meaning into it. He yeah. created that right. link, linkage. Yeah, and it's it's like what you know what I've I've taught in seminars. It's links. You know, ring yes. the bell, feed the dog. Ring the bell, yes. feed the dog. And the unconscious the, actually creates these links, and consciously sometimes we don't it, know they're there. It's simple. Pavlovian conditioning yeah, that simple. we learned about in college. Yeah. And so, um, maybe not go into exact details, but you worked with this individual and you put a different link to, with the beer, didn't you? We certainly did. Most people don't understand the mind, you know. Um, yes. Of course, uh, with Faster T, one, we know how to change memories that drives us, which are the emotional experiences. Two, we know that there's what you call imprints, which are emotional yes. imprints. That means, and there's research showing this. Uh, and so when people say think about a beer and what yes. happens in their mind, they pop in the beer idea. And depending on what the ideal is, will determine how they act and perform. And so what we want to do is change the pro-drug alcohol idea and give it something that's not so pro. So when they think about the drug, they have what you call a natural unconscious repulsion. So what, what happened in this man's case, it was a bottle of Heineken beer, and he said, that's my favorite beer. So initially his eyes lit up, but by the end of the treatment, which was about an hour and a half, uh, he looked at it and it, it was disgusting to him. Mm -hmm. so, so we flipped his uh, reaction from 
love to disgust of beer because beer has no love in it no. at all. Yeah. And so of all the years, I mean, you've been, you've been in treatment, you've visited treatment centers, you've been in them, you've you, you know, trained. Have you seen anything as, as effective as what you just learned this week? I never have. I never have because uh, in an hour and a half, the addiction w was gone. And at other treatment centers, they, they have AA meetings and, and they have some effectiveness, but this program seems to be much more effective. Yeah, and there's also a test and retest. Yes. Because, you know, we come back here and um, six months, a year later, and we're still retesting yes. again. See if it's yes. still there, see if it's still changed. What is it, what is it? And then we just make the adjustments. And, I think uh, that's that, that, the test and retest, but a lot of programs are only 30 days and the person goes out and they have a very high failure rate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because evidence by here, that most of the people that I've seen in here, they, they have two or three uh, visits to addiction centers mm -hmm. or jails or mm -hmm. prisons. And, fi and finally, this place does seem to be more successful. Not successful with everybody, but no. certainly not. But see, I think, again, as I mentioned before in training, is that it takes the person who says, I want to quit. Yes. If you really want to quit, we can help make that happen. And it has to be a decision made. And one of the things that we see in those individuals who are very successful, those who are successful actually do something, and that is they take control. Yes. And we teach them how to be in control. And actually, not con we show them how to change how they feel instead of run how they feel. Yes. And the other thing is, this one individual we're working with, he takes, drinks the beer to relax, and now he's learning another relaxation technique that will help him uh, to avoid having to take a beer. And he said when he gets stressed, he, he goes for the beer, and now w when he's stressed, he'll, go, he'll just do some tapping mm -hmm. like this and l let it go, and, and that will relax him. So it, it's an insurance policy against mm -hmm. drinking again. Yeah. And also, if you have an unconscious imprint that says, no, thank you, yes. it's easy not to drink. Yes. Yeah, so, so it's been a good experience for you? Excellent experience. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've grown just as much as these, the clients have. Yeah, so you've seen some amazing changes? I have. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good job. Yeah. So, if, hey, uh, I have one more question. There's other physicians out there. Yeah. There's other, other people maybe see this stuff and of course they've been taught that it's a disease and you can't cure it, you can't yes. fix it, you can't change it. Yes. What, what, what do you have to say to them? Well, we're always getting new things, we're always evolving and it, it appears that uh, this can be arrested and cured. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very yeah. Good. Right. The, yeah. The old style thinking was it's incurable because we didn't have the means to do it but Today we have it, but the, in medicine there's a lot of things that used to be incurable, but now are are curable because we always keep advancing. And mm -hmm. Faster of T is another advancement. Mm -hmm. of, because you know, as Faster of T teaches, is that it's not a disease in the first place. It's yes. not a, a curable thing because it's yeah. not sick. Yeah, it's a skill. Yeah. So I think that's a big difference too. And and I myself learned the skill of drinking too much. And in, in, uh, in, uh, in 1984, I. I, I was relieved of alcoholism, and I basically used the Fastery of Tea method of using a noxious stimulus, mm -hmm. which, which was seeing my brother in his coffin, and every time I thought about a beer, I saw my brother in his coffin, I said, I don't want to go there, I don't want to go there. <laughs> and so that's, that's how I was able to, yeah. which is the same principle that yeah, you're using. Absolutely. Well, it's how the brain works. Yeah. You know, when you talk about an addict, an addict, when you say, think about the drug, or they smell, they have stress, they have something going on, their mind goes to uh, a, an idea that says, yeah. let's feel good. Yeah. And yet, the idea stops at the feel good, and it doesn't play past it. Right. And that's just where all the pain And, and before hurt. 1984, my idea of a good, of feeling good was to drink. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't, a, I, would, I wasn't that much of an addict, but I was, that was, my primary thing and my joking was when I was in college, I was on the college drinking team. Oh, <laughs> now you've had a lot of sessions. You had a lot of crossfire sessions. Yes. You had a lot of ta faster of tea sessions. What do you think about the faster of tea crossfire sessions? Every crossfire that I've ever had has, has been very professional. They always said, we might stir you up. Is that okay with you? And I said, 
you know, I, I'm I'm tough enough to, but I, I never was that stirred up. I mm -hmm. I might have been uncomfortable, but but you, you have to be a little bit uncomfortable to grow. I mean, yeah, yeah. well, you you can't fix something or address yeah. something if you don't go and look at it. Yeah. So of course, if you're going to look at something that's uncomfortable, yeah. the whole purpose is yeah. to get the uncomfortability out. And, and of course, you can't change something without going there. And going through med school, and you get you get into a lot of uncomfortable situations, and you just have to push through. And that's one of the things that you always say: if you if you have a roadblock, just push through it. Just push through it. And, mm -hmm. and you may be uncomfortable, mm -hmm. not because somebody is wrongfully harassing you, but because that's just your own yeah. stuff. Is, your own stuff mm -hmm. comes up, and, and the intention to help you change. Yeah. And did you get any changes with Dr. Steve Crossfire? Uh, yes, I did. I, I, I really, I've had so many changes. Uh, I've gotten rid of gout, bipolar, and other addictions. I, I can't really say exactly which Crossfire did it, but it's been the whole process. Yeah, very good. So you've had, how many, if you were to guess, how many Crossfire sessions? Well, probably. Ten, I suppose. Okay. But but the, I've always felt at the end very comfortable, and most of the people that I have, I've talked to several people that that have said Crossfire saved my life. Rose Hargrove is one. She said Crossfire saved her life. Is what mm -hmm. she said. Mm -hmm. And others too. And, yeah. and others have had yeah. marriages have improved because mm -hmm. of Crossfire. Now most people don't understand what Crossfire is. Crossfire is when we've got two faster teeth practitioners and they both do their own intake yes. and they both address you yes. at the same time yes. and basically what is the reason why you do that is because the conscious mind wants to try to control it when you have two people yes. coming and they're addressing your pain addressing your hurt the changes are more subconscious okay. and by the way it's the subconscious that causes the problems yeah so if we speak directly to it and make big changes um, your life will be different it is honestly yes. This is what is the number one way to create big changes is crossfire. Now, here's the cool thing. As a doctor, I was able to, ch ch to save people's lives. And with Faster FT, I've had people come up to me and say, uh, Fritz, you've, sa you've saved my life. And you know, even in a short, like, short periods of time, mm -hmm. people that were depressed, the depression went away. And, mm -hmm. and I didn't have to do that much. Just, just show them, you know, how they're do a little detective work, show how they uh, create this, and then start tapping, let it go, let it go, and and it, it flips them into a more positive, less stressful situation. Very good. Very good. Fritz, I really appreciate you, and you're you're a great poet okay. and a good good defender of faster T, okay. and I really do appreciate what you've done okay. for us. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. Appreciate cool. you. More love in this world than there has ever been before. We gotta. Let the love flow There's more love in this world than there has ever been before We gotta let go Let the love flow Well, the net has ever been before we gotta.